Welcome to St. Francis. This is my parish. I love coming here. It's where I was baptized, where I had my first reconciliation, where I received my first communion, and where I get to receive Jesus and the Eucharist every Sunday. But I also love coming here during the week, just to sit with God, talk about my day, and listen to his voice. This is Father Tom, and he is here to share with us about our journey with God. Right, Father? That's right, Ben. We are all children of God. This makes us all much more alike than we are different. Too often we focus on our differences rather than remembering that we're all brothers and sisters, that we're all children of the same great king. What do you have in your hand? Oh yes, this is a photo album my mom started for me when I was younger. God gave you life, and he has designed a great journey just for you. Along the way, there are going to be some very important moments in addition to those you've already experienced. The pictures in this book allow me to share some of the most important moments in my life. Oh, here you go, Ben. Let's start with this one. Who is that? That's me on my day of baptism. No way! Yes way. Your parents look so proud and happy. Well, they knew that baptism is a special day in a person's life. It's the beginning of our new life in Jesus. Your baptism is when you became a member of his church and joined the largest and most famous family in the world, the Catholic Church. Oh, here's another good one. Ah, the day of my first reconciliation. I'll never forget how nervous I was. Do you still go to reconciliation? Of course. We are all constantly in need of God's wisdom, mercy, and encouragement. So we can become the very best version of ourselves. Do you still get nervous? Sure, but that's okay. Being nervous means you care. But the thing I've noticed is that I am always happier when I come and receive reconciliation. Now you are preparing for your first reconciliation. We all mess up from time to time. We all do things that offend God and place obstacles between Him and ourselves. When we get separated from God, we become unhappy. Reconciliation removes these obstacles and fills our hearts and souls with joy again. Is this one from the day you made your first communion? Yep. You look so excited. I was very excited. I still get excited every time I get to receive Jesus in the Eucharist. Before too long, the blessing of reconciliation will prepare you for your first communion. It's like you always say, Father Tom, receiving Jesus in the Eucharist is one of the greatest blessings of our lives. Absolutely. Father Tom, is this you? <laughs> you bet. That's me on the day of my confirmation. When you're a little older, you will be blessed again when you receive the sacrament of confirmation. Confirmation reminds us that in baptism, God blessed us with a special mission and filled us with the Holy Spirit. Confirmation reminds us of these incredible blessings and gives us the courage and wisdom to live out the mission God has given us. Oh wow, this must be the day you were ordained a priest. Yes, it was one of the best days of my life. How did you feel when it happened? I felt all kinds of things. I was nervous, but very excited. And at the same time, I felt unworthy. But mostly, I was thrilled to live out the special mission God created me for. That's really cool. God calls some people to become priests, deacons, and bishops through the sacrament of holy orders. One day, he might call you too. Father Tom, who is that? Well, I was really blessed to be able to marry my sister and her husband. That's the day of their wedding. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Very cool. Later in life, God may bless you again with marriage or holy orders. In the sacrament of marriage, God brings a man and woman together to cherish each other, to live a holy life together, and to help each other become the best version of themselves grow in virtue, and get to heaven. Ah, uh, here's when Max got really sick that one time. That was really nice of you to bring that toy car. Yes, 
And it was great to have you with me, Ben. If along your journey you get sick and need God's healing for body, mind, or spirit, you will be blessed with the anointing of the sick. That was great. Thanks, Father Tom. Anytime, Ben. When you're done, stay and pray for a few minutes. You'll be glad you did. You are on a great journey with God. Along the way, you will experience these great Catholic moments, which we call the seven sacraments. Each of these moments is a blessing. They are all connected. These great moments are designed by God to help you live a good life here on earth. And they prepare you to live with God in heaven forever. You are blessed. 